chop 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 judo flip y se había buscado <risa> Oh my, no book. Hello and welcome to this episode of 0100 Niger, the Nigerian Review Podcast. I am the scientist. And this is a very special episode of the podcast. And if you've been following the podcast uh, this past couple of weeks on social media, on our Facebook and Twitter, you'll have been seeing our teasers, our flyers, teasing this particular episode of the podcast. Uh, that's a new show that we're introducing on this episode called Know Your Nigerian in 10 Questions. Now, uh, we'll be talking a bit about what this show is about. And as we've said before in the teasers, this is to be the first of many. It's going to be a recurring show on the podcast. You are going to be um, having many more episodes of this. And generally what this is going to be about is Know Your Nigerian in 10 Questions is going to be a podcast series in which we bring guests onto this podcast and we grill the guests, we interview the guests on their perspective, their opinions about issues concerning Nigerian culture, Nigerian history, and uh, generally the Nigerian experience. So from that, you know, of course, this is the Nigerian Review podcast. That's what we are about on this podcast. We talk about Nigerian history, Nigerian culture. Okay. And so from the pool of uh, the Nigerian populace, everyday Nigerian is where we will bring our guests on this show from. So um, going by that, uh, we have in the studio with us today, uh, Miss Victoria She's going to be, <laughs> all right, she's clapping already. She's going to be our very first guest on this uh, episode. Please say hello to the house, Miss. Hi, guys. I'm Victoria. I think that's <laughs> all right. And of course, she's glad to be on the show. Of course, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, so, all right. So, uh, talking about the episode now, I would like to talk about the structure of this episode, the structure of the show, how it's going to be like. So, now you're Nigerian in 10 questions, as the name implies. Um, we are going to have 10 main questions, 10 interview questions that we are going to be asking our guests here. And uh, the question, as you said, will be get towards getting our guests' perspective and their opinion on Nigerian history, Nigerian society, and Nigerian culture. So the questions are not particularly, are not structured in any particular way. They are just get towards getting their general um, perspective on the questions, on the issues that we'll be touching on. Uh, but then, since this is the very first episode, what we'll do is we'll ask the questions in the order I have them here with me in the studio. That's how I'll, I'll ask them. So, in our subsequent episode, just so our subsequent guests won't have too much of a heads up and won't be too uh, relaxed and complacent, we'll be mixing up the questions. We'll change the order in which we ask the questions in our subsequent episodes so they won't have it too easy, of course. And also, Interspersing these 10 main interview questions will be a few quiz questions. The last of which will be our prize winning question. So, after the 10 interview questions, we'll have one quiz question left that we'll be asking our guest in the studio. And if the guest is able to answer that question correctly, they'll win a gift that's provided by our show sponsor for that week. And uh, for this very first uh, episode, of course, our show sponsor will be. TR01 Creative, the design outfit, a design brand, and I will talk more about the sponsor later on. And of course, they also be the ones providing the gift that will be given to our audience at the very end of the show. So to win prize me- as audience members, listen on to the end of the show and we'll tell you how to get about that. All right now, Miss Victoria, are you ready? Of course, I'm right. ready. Okay, we'll be starting with the interview questions now. So to start with, here's our very first question. Ms. Victoria, please tell us, what do you do? Um, okay, first of my name, I'm Victoria, I'm a student, I am the CEO of Vix Empire. I make bags, souvenir bags for parties, school bags, whatever, you just name it, I make them. 
all right and uh she'll be plugging her social media handles and you'll be knowing where to get in touch with her guest if you in case you want to reach out to her at the end of the show yes. okay yes. so all right and that's the first question our guest is a student and she's an entrepreneur she mostly deals in the making of uh, bags and of course the retail and wholesale of those bags all right so our second question here is this if you find yourself outside of the country what meal would you crave the most to remind you of home so this is not basically the same as asking what your favorite meal is because sometimes it might be your favorite meal but you might not it might not be the same one you crave the most or it might not be the same one that will remind you of home when you are away from home so what meal is it that if you find yourself away f- from nigeria for an extended period you will crave the most that will remind you of home when you eat it the most um well i feel like you're also indirectly asking me my favorite meal though okay. but we don't crave Oh my, it's okra and <laughs> pounded yam. You know, like that slimy stuff, yeah. Okay. So okra and pounded yam will be the meal I'll crave the more when I'm outside Nigeria. Oh, oh interesting. <laughs> now, <laughs> 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 now, here is, here is a twist now. <laughs> like you'll discover with uh, many more of our questions. The next question is leading off from that last question. Oh, no. <laughs> and the question is this I'm asking you exactly that how is it prepared <laughs> oh wow this, this is difficult not asking me they don't <laughs> Okay, uh, so I, I'm poor at cooking. I'm not Hilda Bassi, you know. Okay. But then, uh, oh, wow, how do you cook okra and powder? Yeah. I suppose you start with one. Man, shame on me, man. <laughs> I suppose you start with one and then you go on to the other. Okay, okay, let's start with the okra. Okay. You you slice the you slice the okra. Okay. Get fresh okra from the market. Right. Slice it. No, you you wash it. You wash the okra. Okay. Then you slice it. Or you grate it. Anyone? Okay. You put water on fire. Gosh, I'm, I'm poor at this. Like. <laughs> okay, so if, if you're using a fish, you're using meat or whatever, you just wash it. Okay. Then um, steam it, put it on fire. And then you add it to salt in it. Then you you make the god damn you, you, you prepare the you um. prepare the this is difficult for me <laughs> <laughs> okay so after you've done the the other the meat and fish kind of thing okay. then you you let the water boil then you add salt um, maggi pepper oh my god my mom will be ashamed of me right now <laughs> so you're doing well you're doing well no? you're doing well okay so you, you, you're going to put um, salt seasoning and everything in the pot okay mm, I think uh, and then you, you, you Add the okra yeah, yeah, you add the okra to it okay. and then you have a whisk and then you keep whisking okay. it. Do you add the salt and seasoning first? Yeah, you add, you add the salt and yeah, yeah, because, um, um and as you can tell, I'm not a very good person. Uh, no, of course, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okra, yeah, so then you, you mix it so you either a whisk or stuff like that. Then okay. I think you wait for it to get done. Anyhow, anyhow. Show, Does the water boil before you add the okra? Or... Uh, no, no, no. It should not boil. It should not boil. All right. So <laughs> for the pounded yam, okay. holy lord, just go and get pounded yam. You know, uh, it's it's already processed. But that, that's not the same as you no. Know, it yam. is. It is. It's, it's, so how it's, do you? Okay, let's let's just let's go um, organically now. No. How uh, do you prepare no, pounded no, yam? Organic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you peel your yam. I okay. think uh, that one will be quite easy for me you peel the yam you wash you wash it then you put it on fire make sure it's soft do they put salt i, I, I really don't know you okay, they don't so well, <laughs> shame on me then so you don't put salt you make sure it's boiled clean the mortar and the so then you put the yam Empowering one by one, do the stuff. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, any amount, any how you want to do it. So, uh, however you want to do it, and then you have your, for you. you have your pounded yam. Of course. Uh, so how do you uh, take care that the yam doesn't have nuts in it? Well, it's very well. It's a spiritual thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> All right, then I'll just say you've done fairly well. Uh, well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a particularly good cook myself, so I wouldn't do. <laughs> I wouldn't be a good judge of that. But then, <laughs> there you have it. All right, so um, onto our next question. 
That is a more laid back question now. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you've been through, you've been through enough. <laughs> All right, so uh, growing up, growing up, while growing up, what was your favorite Nigerian movie? Uh-huh. My favorite Nigerian movie, damn. I don't think I have. I had a favorite Nigerian movie back then. Okay, one rings a bell in my head. Okay. Akian Popo. The most okay. famous. The one. Yeah, I'm okay. popular Akian Popo. So I think that that's my, that was my I favorite think, movie. Uh, majority of our audience will already know about this movie, but for those that don't, maybe the new Gen Z guys or the. What, what, the, what, the, what is the new generation guys called? Gen X? Whatever they are, but then YouTube is always available. Go to YouTube. Tell us a bit about the movie. Okay, so Aki and Popo, ha, them. I just know they were just two guys, Osita and uh, Muslim of the other guy. They are always looking for trouble. They're like the African version of um, Tom and Jerry. Okay. Yeah, like, African. Uh, a live action Tom and Jerry. Exactly, a live action Tom <laughs> and Jerry. So basically, so. like, uh, okay, they, like, they do a bit kind of slapstick. Well, it's not slapstick, it's, it's actually live action. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, voice only that. it's kind of performance comedy or something like that. Of course, that's just and how I can perform. It's basically in a, an Hollywood comedy at yeah. its best. <laughs> okay, and okay, I was going to ask you what actors were well, the actors that made the movie, the actors in the movie. But then you already Yeah, Osita Iheme and um, something yeah. Ihe, blah blah blah. I, I can't remember the yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, so uh let's move on. So still um, dwelling in the region of Nigerian entertainment, the industry there. Who is your favorite Nigerian artist or musician? Then or now? Just, okay, Tiwa Savage is my best, my best, my best Nigerian artist. Okay. Yeah. And what's what's your favorite song or album by Tiwa Savage? Uh, okay, I um somebody's son. Really? Yes, somebody's song. You know, all these single girls. Is, is, that, somebody's is that song. because it's supposed to be a gospel song? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Because we are single. According to... According, according to, to Tiwa. Sister Tiwa. Yeah, Sister Tiwa. Savage. Say the song is about our... <laughs> no, no, no way. No way. Definitely no way. But um, I, I, I liked Kili Kili Love. That was, I think that was one of her first music. But then recently, I think somebody's song is like my favorite music. Okay, yeah. I, I know I jammed a bit to Kili Kili Love back in the day to yeah, myself. Like yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and I do like, I do like Tiwa's music. I think she's, she's great. Cool, and yeah. the way she's been consistent over the years. Yeah. Uh, and particularly... Uh, she's been on some features recently that have been just fire. Yeah. You know, the latest one with um, yeah, Bella. She had the song with Bella last week or two weeks ago. Really? I think, yeah. Wow. It's it's a real, it's an incredible song. I like it. And the one with the Shake was, of course. Of course. Fire. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, going on on the tangents now. Going okay. off on the tangents. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, don't worry. It's yeah. <laughs> no pressure still. <laughs> So, uh, I just want to know, uh, how many states have you been to in Nigeria? Hmm. Can you list them? Um, of course, yes. I think I've been to a lot of states that have lost count. My dad, my dad was a pastor and he was a traveler as well. So, I think we virtually moved to so many states. Okay. I was born in Akwaibom, so I've been to Akwaibom. I've been to Enugu. Two. I've been to, I've been through Calabar, through Calabar, not okay. to Calabar. Do you say half? Did you, did you make any stop in yeah, Calabar? Yeah, I, I made a stop at okay, Calabar. Okay, so two and half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I also grew up in Lagos. Okay, so that's four, uh, three and a half. Okay. Abuja, half Abuja. Abuja. Okay, four and a half. Port Harcourt. Five and a half. Um, um, Kano. Six and a half. <laughs> Happened to a lot of Delta seven and a half. Hmm. I dosed it eight and a half. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All right, I'm thinking. All okay, right. I've been through Aba should be in Emo State, right? Yeah, I should think so. Okay, then I've been to Emo State before. So is that nine and a half? Or you can just turn it up and say ten. Of I course, ten. <laughs> yeah, I'm a true right, Nigerian. So, yeah, you're true. You've been to more than a quarter of the states in Nigeria. Of so course. yeah, that's that's impressive. That's impressive. Uh, okay. Uh, I was going to ask what uh, you did in so in some of the states, but then I think you already covered that with your introduction to that 
to the while you approach the question. So here, Miss Victoria, yeah. and here our audience members okay. will be our first quiz question. Okay. <laughs> where we'll be testing our guest uh, knowledge of our uh, guest factual knowledge of Nigerian I don't know history or society. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm, I'm sure I'm ready. All right. So let's let's start with that. Let me see within my for my selection of questions. Let's see. We are ready for this, man. Modification expression. <laughs> All right. Just because you are our first guest on the show. <laughs> Don't clap yet. I'm not. I'm, still, I'm not giving you a pass. So I'm going to. Uh, do I? Okay, select one now. Do I give you two questions to answer one, or do I ask you one question and give you options to select the answer for? Give me a question with option, then I'll select from yes. I think that'll be better. All right then. But don't make it tricky. <laughs> oh well. Okay. I don't know if it's a. Particularly simple question I'm asking you this first one anyway, so it's not tricky. Dude. It's not going to be tricky. So here's the question. Now, <laughs> here's the deal, right? Okay. The way it, um, the way I, uh, the question is here is you're supposed to list. Not only really list and explain. Really. Yeah, no, not explain, just okay. list. But well, because I'm going to be giving you options. <laughs> this is a hard one for you. Yeah, because of the twist I've introduced to it myself. Okay, so. Anyways, basically, how many geopolitical zones do we have in Nigeria? Now, I'll give you options. A, 4. B, 5. C, 6. D, 8. A 6. Of course, it's 6. <laughs> Can you list them? <laughs> okay. okay. So that was the original question. No, no, that, was, that wasn't nice. Okay, so we have not... Can you... Okay, are you going to try to? I'll try, I'll try, okay. I'll try. So I have north. You already have the point anyways. Uh, well, so let me give I just want to see if you can <laughs> Okay, so we have north. We have... Um, not west. Not west. <laughs> <laughs> ah, not west. So, okay, here's how you are putting the question. Basically, we have uh, two main regions in Nigeria, right? the northern region, the southern region. Yeah. And the two main regions are subdivided into these the political zones. So that's how you go about it. So oh, you have wow. northwest, yes. And then what is the North northeast? Right? Yes. North south. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had uh, north central. Okay, north central. Oh, can you imagine I'm from north central and I'm oh, no no this you know, is actually big uh, the, the delay is that um the whole story about the geopolitical zones is an entire story and it's the story we will tell someday on this podcast, but it's not just a story for today. Okay. So we have north west, north east, north central. And then in the south, we have south southwest, west. we have southeast, and we have south south. 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 Yeah. So when you say north south, the north south is the north central. That's where, <laughs> that's that's why. That's why. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> All right. So moving on now to our interview questions. So, how are you feeling so far? Yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm enjoying myself right here. Okay. It's, it's cool right. here. It's really cool. Okay. So no pressure, right? No, no pressure. No pressure. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, our next question. Hmm. What is your favorite tourist attraction site in Nigeria? Or favorite yeah. heritage site? Or something? Oh, well, um, I've had a lot of uh, yeah, Nkairi resorts in Mbauchi, and um, I think I'm making plans to go in there. But um, I haven't gone you there. Made plans to go there. No, I'm, I'm, plans. no, I haven't gone there. Okay. I'm making plans. Yeah. I'm- Okay, you're talking about the ones I've been to? No, no, not the ones you've been to. Generally, just... Okay, generally, just, yeah. And when you said you're a carrier and you said you're making plans, I'm wondering about that region right now. And yeah, how no, okay I... To be. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not okay scary, it. though, but then... Yeah, yeah and carry, I've heard a lot of yeah, and yeah. and I think um, it's it's, it will be one place. But then Kalabatu is, is cool. Um, um, Ka- Obudu? Obudu, Castle Ranch. Or the Carnival. I think the kind of the kind of yeah, it's, it's an event, it's not a place. So it's it's the uh, Obudukasi Ranch, but I really don't know where it is. I don't know if it's, it's in Calabar. Calabar, yeah. I'm a poor Nigerian. <laughs> I don't know anything about Nigeria. <laughs> when you just said something about Nigeria, you mentioned Obudu and the Akari. Uh, so so that's uh that's fair, I think. So uh okay, <laughs> what's our next question? Uh hmm, okay. 
So, you savvy book at me. Oh my God! Share your notebook. You know that they are coming with share your notebook. Okay, let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. It's it's actually a, a pretty easy one. Um, who is your favorite Nigerian writer, and what is your favorite book by them? Okay, okay. We go with um Chino Achebe. Hmm. Things fall apart. Nice. Okay. Oh. So do I ask you to do a literary? Uh, no, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> give, can you give our audience a ten-minute literary no, critique no, of that no, book? No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Things just Thank fell apart. <laughs> the center could not hold. <laughs> no worry, you've already held it together well enough, <laughs> and our audience is thanking you already for that. <laughs> So here is a pretty tricky one, and it's one that I intentionally put in here, even though it might be uh, one that will cause a lot of, you know, maybe it's co- it could potentially cause some debate among our listeners. You did this to torment me, right? I did this to torment yeah. all the guests that will be coming yeah. on the show. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> 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 but <laughs> like you said, it's all part of the um, get. All trying to get uh, your experience, of course, or get your perspective on the on the old Nigerian experience team. Okay. So here is the question: Who is your favorite Nigerian head of state? Oh, okay, let's go. I'll go with um Obasanjo. And why? I I think um he did everything in his power to to make Nigerians to be owed by Nigerians. Uh, is that um? Uh, during the during the democratic regime or when he was a military head of state? Well all join me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all together. <laughs> all right. I mean yeah, so the whole uh, in case any of the members of the audience or and the listeners are uh, going and wailing and holding their heads right now, wondering why anybody will choose a passenger as their favorite. Remember what this uh, show is about is about getting um, uh, the perspective of our guest. So this is our guest opinion, and they are entitled to it, it. <laughs> <laughs> and I cost it. Blame it on me, not the guest. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so I think that's that's mostly it. Um, and in case you're trying to find my answers to these questions, I will not be giving my own answers today. Oh. One of these days, you will probably have a guest come in here and interview me with these questions. Oh. What? <laughs> That's not happening today, not yet. <laughs> All right, then. So, um, on to our next question. Um, when do you can you remember? Do you know when Nigeria achieved independence from their colonial masters, so called colonial masters? I, I think I was right there. So, it's <laughs> first. So right. You mean you were in Victoria herself, the grandmother of exactly. Elizabeth? Exactly. Interesting. I was there. All right. <laughs> okay. So, here's the question. Um, the beginning of this episode, of this podcast, dealt with the history of Nigeria the first three episodes thereabouts and i think somewhere around the third episode episode three of this podcast or four thereabouts we finally arrived at independence and the issues concerning uh, independence that um, led to nigeria's independence so this one is a bit tricky because yeah i've heard some people express opinions about this question a bit and some people generally just don't care about it so like i said before this, uh, the, there is no right or wrong answers to this question in the interview process. Anyways, it's just about getting your opinion to the question and seeing what you think about it. So here's the question: Are you of the opinion that Nigeria's independence? And I put the independence here in quote because, well, if you can truly call it that, anyways. So are you of the opinion that Nigeria's independence came too early or too late? Well, for me, I feel um, Nigerians' independence came way too early. I think we're not um, capable and mature at that particular time when we gain independence. So I feel it was too, too early for us to gain independence. All right. And once again, uh, you killed the question I asked and killed the follow-up question I had planned uh, for it. Because I was going to ask why you think that, but then you already gave your opinion as to why. And, you know, uh, you're not wrong anyways, because you will... 
I'll go back. I think after a while, we still go back to uh, talk about the, um, the issues that arose after independence. And we yeah. talked about that. I think even episode four, episode four was um, the legacy of colonization in Nigeria, and we talked spoke a bit about the issues that we still have in Nigerian society today that uh, sprouted from the way the independence was managed yeah. back then. And uh, so you say independence, if you really call it that. Uh, so yeah, so that, that's great. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, yeah, so. Here is the last interview question. And yeah, I think I was supposed to gasp here. I think Miss Victoria in the studio here gasped with me. In case the studio uh, or the listeners don't know what's happened. <laughs> Nigeria just happened to us in the studio here and Nepal just took place. <laughs> but I think it will be going on. Uh, thank God we're not too dependent on them for our uh, recording tools. Here. So now for our last question. Uh, okay. This too has been one of the, it's one of those sensational things you see every once in a while in social media. You see people ask this a lot, and many people take it lightly, so people take it more seriously than others. But yeah, we would like to know what you think about this and what your opinion is on this, what your perspective is on this, anyways. Here it is this, um, it says, presented with the opportunity and power to fix a problem with Nigeria. Or with Nigerian society, which problem are you picking and why? Hi, okay. Which problem am I picking? Yeah. Uh, uh, can I pick more than one? Just one. Okay, just one. Okay, um, scale of preference, I'll choose and pick um, the educational system. I feel um, Nigerian educational system has been messed up over time and I feel it's because the people who think they have enough have messed up our educational system and it's before education was like for common people and people that could not like um should i say how do i put this they're not, that's how it's supposed to be yeah no, no right for words yeah. yes for everyone um, but now it's 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 like you must have a lot of money to send people to school and all and it's it's and we know that every country is built on the educational level of its citizens. So I feel the educational system in Nigeria has been messed up. And if I had the opportunity, I would fix the educational system in Nigeria. First and above all. Yes, first and above all. Thanks, Miss. Very, very well put. And uh, with that, uh, we've come to the last of, uh, we've gotten through the last of our um, major interview questions. Of course, and just. Of <laughs> <laughs> no relief yet. <laughs> Just before before you round up and before you are allowed to leave, uh, we will have to ask you the last question, of which is the prize winning questions from uh, to Just win. Call, the, just call me winner, right? <laughs> winner, to, winner, to potentially win the prize from our show sponsor, Three Hundred Zero One Creative. Uh, okay. All right. So the question goes uh, thus. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh just like before, we'll be throwing you a low one, an easy one, since we are no first guest. That's not easy. <laughs> the first question wasn't easy. Okay, this one is going to be easy. Okay. Much easier. Uh and just because the whole idea of doing this uh, the central idea behind this show is um to of course um get some more illumination, some more enlightenment about Nigerian society, Nigerian culture. Uh, but from the perspective of everyday Nigerians. So we're going to be asking you a question about your understanding about, of Nigerian tradition. Okay. Particularly, the Nigerian tradition from um, where you hail or where you're from. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the uh, politically correct way to put that. But anyways, here it is. It's, um, do you have a native or traditional name and what does it mean oh wow it's something i'm always proud of (laughs) (laughs) okay so my native name is omojo but then it's um english english what's it how do i put it i modernized it yeah no i exactly i mean i modernized it so omojo so it sounds more english so it's um the meaning is God's child, child of God. Yeah, yeah that's wow. the meaning of Omaojo. You better not mention it. You better give uh, me a uh, 
Exactly. You have a very big and holy one fighting for you. <laughs> and we, we wouldn't hold his throat on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Miss Victoria. I, I guess it's the only that. So on behalf of uh, show sponsor, you have oh a branded oh notebook oh designed by TR01 Creative for the podcast. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Wow. All right, so. Uh, All right then. So uh, I think. Nigeria just happens to be there. Yeah. So, all hail the almighty Nigerian Nepa. He just, gave, <laughs> he just brought back the light. <laughs> he sent down the light. So, uh, all right. So, uh, we'll be rounding up very soon. But before we do that, the, I want to give the audience, the, our listeners, an opportunity to win the prizes uh, as promised from our show sponsor, TR01 Creative. You can find uh, the sponsor on Facebook. Um, the Facebook page is TR01 Creative. And, uh, yeah. So, for you to win, I think we'll be having two winners this week, since this is our very first episode of the show. We'll be having two winners, and the gift you'll be winning, basically, is uh, uh, notebooks, you have not- notebook designs. Uh, if you go onto the page on Facebook, you'll see some of the designs uh, from the uh, brand, from this design brand that's sponsoring the show today. And, uh, yeah, so the question we're asking, now, we'll be have a post on, uh, on our own Facebook page, and the post will simply be prompting you to drop the answer to this question. And we'll be selecting two winners from the comment section of that post. So, uh, so how do we go about this? I have a number of questions. I don't know which one to select. Create kind of questions. Okay. So, let's do this one. Because here's this one. Here's one of the questions I first uh, drafted for this, uh, for this episode. But because... Uh, for some reason, I couldn't take my time to do the research to actually get the answers to the question. <laughs> I just uh, put the question as set it aside, uh, and I wasn't going to ask it at first. But now, yeah, I'm just <laughs> I'm asking it, and so this will be the prize-winning question for the uh, listeners in the on Facebook. So here is the question: List five beverages native to Nigeria. Five pe- beverages native to Nigeria. That's and a research question. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, or sh- should, we, should we reduce it now? Let's make it three then. Yeah, let's, do let's make it three. And when we say native to Nigeria, I mean they originate from Nigeria. Yeah, or at Nigeria least. Uh, yeah, made in Nigeria. Not, not made in Nigeria, originate from Nigeria, native. Okay. Yeah, you know, not, you're not talking Pepsi. You know, Pepsi is made in Nigeria, but okay, it's but not native said, to Nigeria. Yeah. It didn't originate here. Yeah, so. Five uh, oh, three beverages now. Let's say three that are native to Nigeria. I can already come up with some, yeah, but then let's just leave it at that. So we'll be selecting two winners from our Facebook page, and so uh, so we'll be seeing ourselves there then. So uh, Miss Victoria, can you plug your online presence for our audience if they would like to find you? What is your Facebook username? What's the Facebook handle? If yeah, you're open to that, and then you, for your Facebook page for your business, of course too. And okay. otherwise, to yeah. any guess, any other Okay, friendly. so my Facebook name is Omaojo Victoria Lemona. Omaojo, O M A O J O, Victoria Lemona, I L E M O N A. Then my business page is Vix Empire. Um, my Spelled V H I C K. V H I C K, apostrophe S, then Empire. And then my Twitter handle is at original underscore Lekwa. <laughs> underscore V. Okay. At so, original underscore Lekba underscore V. And um, my Instagram name is Maljoy Lemona. Yeah. Alright, so we didn't um, have a video recording for this episode, but in that's case that, that's in case sorry. <laughs> if you're wondering what our guest looks like, she just described it uh, oh. to us <laughs> using our Twitter handle. So. <laughs> All right, so um you can find this podcast on all of your major listening platforms. We are on Audio Mark at 0100 Niger. You can find us on Google Podcast. Find us on YouTube. You can, we are also on Spotify. And if you have any podcast app that aggregates podcasts, you can also find us there. So we're talking about Podcast Addict, Podcast Bean, and other apps like that. And also, you can also find us on social media. We have a Facebook page. Uh, it's 0100 Niger. We are also on Twitter at 0100 Niger, and we also have a, an Instagram page. And you can find me, the scientist. I am present on Twitter at Leftist Science. 
I am Lefty Scientist at Lefty Science on Twitter. And uh, yeah. I also have a Facebook account, but I don't think I'll be sharing that publicly. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for staying with us. Thanks for listening to this podcast. I hope it's been engaging. And I hope you've had a good time of it. Of course, yeah, of and course. yeah. Let's uh, drop your comments uh, under the post on Facebook and on Twitter too, of course. So, just so we know, um, drop your comments, your criticisms, what you think we should add to the these episodes, uh, this series. And what you think you, you what you like about it, and what it is you, uh, what it is you like us to change about it. And uh, thank you, thanks a lot for that. Thanks a lot about that. This is the scientist signing out, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.